Well, I'm stood here in front of the World War II Battery Observation Post. It was actually known as a DRF Tower, a Direction Rangefinder Tower. The top floor didn't have any glass in. What we did have in there is a Depression Rangefinder. It was discovered that the World War I Rangefinder, although it was easy to operate, wasn't quite as accurate as a modern Depression Rangefinder. Unfortunately for Blythe, the Depression Rangefinder relies on the basis of a triangle. And because the tide moves up and down, anything floating on the sea raises the back of that triangle. But it was a so there were difficult charts to work out for the firing solutions from that building. So as we see it, other than the glass, it's pretty much exactly the same way as it would have looked in World War II. On the ground floor, you can see an open door under the staircase. That was the communications room that would have contained the telephone system, which would have collected everything within the battery. On the other side, you can see there's a, a nearer window and a further window. The far window was the plotting room, which is almost identical in operation to the World War I battery observation post. An interesting point to note is on the World War II building, it was converted in the camouflage scheme to look rather like a church. So above the two grey windows that you can see on the front of the building, there's an inverted V, and that was a fake roof to make it look like a church.